From across the streets, you can spot them, trying every way possible to get a coin or two from different people. <laughs> Nyonsawa Ejeda has been in the streets for the last five months. He tells me that both his parents are alive, only that they feel that he is a troublesome son. Since they are not well-to-do, he decided to leave his home and start living in the streets. I therefore decided to come here in order to get food to eat, he says. Usually in a day I get about 2,000 Rwandan francs. That is about 250 Kenya shillings, which he says he uses to buy food to keep him going. Patrick Bizimana, on the other hand, tells me that he had his Christmas in these streets. Christmas was really bad, he says. How would you expect Christmas in the streets to be fun? He asserts. I ask him how he got himself here. I come from a poor family, he tells me. My mother left me and so I used to live with my grandmother, who is also not able to provide for me. Iradukunda is only 10 years. He has lived in the streets for one year and just like his friends, the festive season was just like a myth. I don't have school fees and so that is why I am not in school, he tells me. My father got so sick and later died in hospital. Because back at home we do not have money to feed us, I decided to come to the streets to look for some money to keep my family going. His wish is to be able to go to school and live a normal life just like other children his age. Right, the festive season is slowly and nicely wrapping up and of course the question is, during this festive season, how many lives did you touch in different and unique ways? And of course, for those who are young, like the ages of these boys right here, they need someone out there to just give them a hand and to support them. For KTN News in Kigali, Rwanda, I'm Eugene Anangwe reporting.